The African and Malagasy Union (AMU), French: Union Africaine et Malgache (UAM), was an intergovernmental organization created to promote cooperation among newly independent states in Francophone Africa. The organization derives its name from the name of the continent of Africa and from the former Malagasy Republic, now Madagascar. The organization went defunct in 1985. Topic: History. The organization was founded on 12 September 1961 in Antananarivo by members of the Brazzaville group of French-speaking states developing out of a meeting held in Brazzaville in December 1960. Twelve Francophone countries agreed to maintain close relationships but also a special relationship with the former colonial power, France. The original aims were both economic and political, to adopt common stands on international issues, to promote economic and culture cooperation, and to maintain a common defense organization. However, this caused a problem, the organization would have to depend on France. The diversity, geography, and post-colonial problems of the different countries stopped the organization from ever becoming significant. In March 1964, the UAM changed its name to the Afro-Malagasy Union for Economic Cooperation, Union Africaine et Malgache de Coopération Économique, UAMCE. Mokhtar Old Dada was elected as the president of the organization, while the city of Yaoundé was selected as the headquarters seat. Subsequently, it confined itself to economic affairs and by 1966 had become inactive. The African and Malagasy Common Organization, Organisation Commune Africaine et Malgache, OCAM, was the successor to the UAMCE. It was set up at Nouakchott in February 1965 and comprised the original 12 members of the UAM with the addition of Togo. In May 1965 its membership was increased by the admission of the former Belgian colonies of Congo Kinshasa and Rwanda. In June 1965, however, Mauritania withdrew. The remaining 14 then signed the new OCAM charter on 27 June at a meeting in Antananarivo, Madagascar. The aims of the organization were economic, social, technical, and cultural cooperation. OCAM dropped the political and defense objectives that its predecessor, the UAM, had attempted to embrace. It created the structures of an international organization, a conference of heads of state and government, a council of ministers, a secretariat and secretary general, and established its headquarters at Bangui in the Central African Republic. It developed a number of joint services and of these the most successful and most well known is the multinational airline Air Afrique. In 1979 the airline was separated from OCAM. The organization's later history became increasingly troubled. Mauritius joined in 1970. Congo Kinshasa, by then renamed Zaire, withdrew in 1972, Congo Brazzaville in 1973, Cameroon, Chad and Madagascar in 1974, Gabon in 1977. However, some of these countries retained their links with OCAM's various agencies. In 1982 OCAM held a summit at Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire, it had then changed its name, though only to substitute Mauritius for Madagascar, to Organisation Commune Africaine et Mauricienne. OCAM, also, has ceased to operate. The organization officially became extinct in 1985. Member states Topic. Founding members Chad withdrew 1974 Cameroon withdrew 1974 Republic of the Congo withdrew 1973 Dahomey later Benin Gabon withdrew 1977 Upper Volta later Burkina Faso Mauritania withdrew 1965 Niger Malagasy Republic later Madagascar withdrew 1974 Central African Republic Senegal Côte d'Ivoire joined February 1965 Toga joined May 1965 Zaire later Democratic Republic of the Congo withdrew 1972 Rwanda joined 1970 Mauritius Topic. References Topic. 